Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Nespresso Creatista Pro coffee machine. So I'm going to get it out of the box, unpack it all with you, and then I'll give you a quick tour of the machine. So this is the other side of it, and it's pretty heavy. It's got like a handle on top and stuff to kind of help you with carrying it. Um, and yeah, you just pull these little tabs out here, lift up the top and a bit of a fight with it at the moment so as usual it comes pretty well packaged first of all they have included some capsules here which will just be like a little selection hopefully of their range oh and I managed to open it without destroying the box that's always good so this is the selection that they've included. There's 16 in here, I believe. A range of lungos, decafs and stuff. So, this is the little drip tray. Some little leaflets. So there's no way it was coming out of the box at the angle I was doing it with all my camera equipment set up. So I've just pulled everything out. Um, so we get a milk jug like this. So this is just the jug that they include with it. It's got a max and min line on the outside. So you can see where to kind of fill your jug up to. It's got little notches in there as well for when you're making your milk recipes. And then we've got the drip tray that I mentioned here. It's got, it had a little serial number on as well that I've just taken off and it's just sort of taped down here. Just see that's what it kind of looks like underneath there and that hole there will be so that it matches up with the sensor i would think and then there's obviously this plasticky stuff all over the machine itself to protect it even the cord has its own little plasticky thing okay it's really, really quite heavy. I usually use the Nespresso Creatista Plus, which is the model that came out before this. So I've just upgraded to this particular model, but I do still have, um, you can see in the craziness over here, this is my Creatista Plus model, which is extremely similar. This one is slightly larger and slightly heavier and does more things. So I'm going to finish this kind of unboxing with you now, give you a quick look through. And then I do plan to film a separate Creatista Plus versus Creatista Pro video so you can see the difference between the two machines. Because there is a £250 difference between those two if you're buying it in the UK. So it's quite significant um, for two very similar machines, although they do do some things differently. But I'm going to play around with it anyway and I'll do that review once I've had a bit longer to use this. So again, they just kind of have these little bits stuck down just to keep everything safe in transit love the kind of chrome design this particular model actually only comes in this one color whereas the creatista plus version does actually come in a few different colors if that matters to you so it has a little cup rest like this if you're making like a smaller cup sized drink and that's what you do to just eject the little capsule holder um, so obviously you've got your little steam wand here. There is actually a little sensor there, if you can just about see that, that little metal sensor. When you're actually making the milk-based drinks, you just have to make sure that, that is actually on the sensor so that it picks it up and does the kind of heating up and stuff. Let's have a little tour around what this machine looks like. So it is in this lovely kind of stainless steel design. And then on the back, we've got a two litre water jug, which is two litres is actually quite a lot. Um, my other machine, I think it's only a litre and a half and even that's quite big. So this again is just taped down. 
you just lift that off when you want to fill it with water and obviously the lid just kind of comes off like this it's all a bit stiff because it's brand new um there's also actually under here there's like this little tool that lives under there um and that is just so that you can help to clean the little holes that are in your steam wand and this bit is to just like loosen and tighten the mechanism inside the steam wand for when you're doing a bit of a clean so that just slots back in there when you've got your water in and then it's like flush to the design of the machine um, again nice stainless steel side there and this is just a little sticker here so i'm going to plug it in and then i can show you a little bit more about the screen here and what that offers this is also where your capsules go as well there's that little sensor i was talking about making sure you line up there with your little jug this here is just a, like a plasticky mechanism and that is so that when this fills with water that will rise up and stick out and then you will know when you need to empty this little tray here and again there's just a little space there because that lines up well with the spout so if there's any dripping it will just drip down into that hole just in case you wondered what that was all about okay let's switch this machine on So that took a few seconds and then set your machine up, let's go. Remove the water tank, rinse it, I've done that. Fill the water tank up to the maximum level and attach it back to the machine. We've done that and then it says, would you like to set your machine water hardness or use the default setting? So we'll just use the default setting for now. But in your instructions, there is a little card that allows you to set the water hardness. Um, it's like a little test, um, test stick thing, just to test how hard the water is in your area if you're not sure. Okay, so then it says, place the empty milk jug under the coffee spout. So I guess it's gonna run some water through or something just to make sure everything's nice and clean before we use it. And then it says your machine will automatically stop rinsing when the cycle is complete. Okay, and then it says remove the milk jug and the drip tray and discard the contents. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna have a look at some of the different drinks we can make. Okay, so it says let's make your first drink. So you just press that there. It says lift the lever and insert a capsule and then close the lever. So for a ristretto, I'm just gonna use this capsule here. This one is the um, Inspirazone Venezia, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm just gonna pop it in there and click ristretto. And this one is just going to be a 25 mil size, so pretty small, really. Just to then compare this to the espresso size. using the same capsule as before. So this is a standard 40 mil size. So they are the two different sizes. And then for Lungo, this is a Lindsay Oat Lungo. Next up is the long black, so we're going to use an arpeggio for this one. So this is essentially water and coffee, and you can also control how much coffee goes in, and you can control how much water goes in as well. 
So I'm just going to leave it at the current settings. Click play. So now we're going to have a flat white and I'm going to use one of the Corto capsules. These ones are made specifically for milk recipes and these work really well. This is the stronger of the three that they offer. So I'm just going to click play up here and then I've got my milk jug on the centre there and obviously my cup underneath the coffee cup. So I've just rinsed off and wiped off the spout there and then we're just going to put the milk in. Obviously just add the amount that you want to taste. So next up I'm going to make the next one on the list which is the cappuccino and just to let you know in case you were wondering with these recipes um, and the amount of milk I put in the jug I just tend to go to the minimum level and it's marked inside the jug as well just because I find if I, that even with the minimum level there's actually too much milk for just one cup unless I'm making a really huge latte or something so I just tend to keep it on the minimum so I'm going to be using a voluto capsule for this particular one and we're gonna press start And you can of course make this milk as kind of fluffy as you like, um, as foamy as you like. You've got options on the settings there for that. But that is my little cappuccino. Now let's do a latte. So I'm going to use this capsule. This is actually a Starbucks capsule. It's called a proper espresso one. And let's hit play.
And then again, it's kind of add as much milk as you would like to taste. And finally, the latte macchiato. And again, I'm going to use a corto capsule for this. Got my little milk jug and everything filled up. So for this one, it hasn't actually heated the milk and, co and dispenser coffee at the same time because the idea with this one is you pour the milk into the glass and then put the glass under the spout and then start the espresso. So let's do that. Just cleaned off the milk spout. So I'm just going to pour the throth milk in there. And then... So you get the really nice mix there of the coffee in the milk. 